How students spend their social time outside of class it can depend on where you live and the type of university that you go to. Um, all universities have a certain amount of social activities that are organised at the university. So students at every university via the Students Union organise clubs and societies of different kinds, whether they're based around courses, based around hobbies. Um, some of them seem to be largely based around drinking. Um, it's um, but there, and, and if you don't have a club at your university that's of interest to you, they'll help you start one. Um, so there's that element, and then it's about where you live. Now, if you're living, if if you're in a university that's in the middle of the countryside, probably what you'll have is a lot more organised activities by the university itself. If you're in London, and I'm quite proud to say that my university has the worst bar of any university I've ever been to. On a Friday night it's just me in there crying into a beer. Because you're in London, you're in one of the greatest cities in the world, why would you stay here and have a beer when you've got the whole city to explore? You know, we don't, when I was at university, my uh, student union had big name bands coming to the union bar to play. We don't have that in ours because we're in London, we have venues all around us with big name people coming to play. So a lot will vary. Um, and then you have, you, you know, big events all around you. I mean, a, a really good example this weekend, um, it's International Record Store Day. Um, so actually around the world, it started in the US, but all around the world and all around the UK, independent record stores, just for one day, they have special events, they have bands playing. I'm going to see Adamant on Saturday, which really dates me. Um, there's special one-off pressings, it's all very much around vinyl rather than digital, um, but it's a great event, it's been running for I think four, uh, seven years now. Um, and there's stuff like that going on in the UK all the time. And the other thing to bear in mind is that the UK is a very small country. Um, the distance that you're talking about in terms of going, oh well there's a really good event going on in, I don't know, Birmingham and I'm in London, or vice versa. We're talking about an hour and a half on a train. It's a very compact country compared to some of the countries that, that you guys might be from. Um, and so seeing something even at the other end of the country, it doesn't actually take that long to get there and go see it. Um, so there's always, always, always something to do here.